hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Toy. if this is your first time coming across my video please watch the video to the end and consider subscribing this is a life update video i just want to just with you guys and catch up you know so let's get into the video okay firstly we'll start with good news you know just so we keep it on a high note the first good news and the first life of this is that we just clocked 1000 subscribers guys i'm so excited i've been so happy i've been so grateful to god because it's been a journey i must say um are we about to start just doing this my youtube channel started off as me documenting memories for those that don't know it started off my first video was my 18th birthday i'm not sure it was 18th now yeah 18th birthday yes my 18th birthday i had a surprise by my friends and you know they recorded the video and this video was going to like three gig or four gig i don't remember and then i'm just like i can't keep this video on my phone i didn't have a laptop then i was just like the best way and then i want to start youtube since like when i was 100 level by the way this surprise was in 300 level i believe yes 300 level so i was just like you know what let me just um upload the video on youtube so my friend shout out to you Tolu. she was the one that helped me to edit it and that then i didn't even know how to edit videos she just helped me to edit it she just told me oh you do this you cut you do that and that so that was how my first video came about then my next video which i call my official first video now that actually took out time to actually create was now when i was a 400 level i was going through a lot of things at that moment so i wanted something that i was going to pour my energy into and that would make me happy so i sent my channel my my roommates oh my gosh the best roommates i mean maybe because we were three so it made it more fun i couldn't have asked for better roommates than them i don't know they brought so many good people to my life it was like their friends became my friends it was just so beautiful thankfully tell me if anybody has watched my roommate tag video was not my roommate the next year i know yeah so it was very beautiful i miss them would you shout to you guys they were they were my first motivation to start my youtube channel again you know they helped me so much in that period after posting that video i started posting vlogs a 400 level so thankfully people were watching my vlogs i mean when i entered 500 level and we had um, new um freshers it was like oh my god i watch on youtube but it was, i was always like oh my god are you serious like eh i mean people are watching me because i had what maybe 400 subscribers or 300 it wasn't a lot but if i posted like two three videos let's be if i had ideas but it was just that maybe time or I kind of needed help. Those kind of people where you cannot do everything yourself. Maybe also because I had ideas for like all these street videos. I'm so pained that I've actually left school now because all those ideas cannot be replicated again. But I'm actually happy that at least the one that was within my power, those vlogs documenting my life through school. For that period, I was able to do it, even though I could have put more energy. But I'm so grateful. If you start to think about I wish i wish i wish honestly you would you would just be stressing over nothing but this advice is to anybody that has had it in mind start youtube channel start now the right time is now because if you are to postpone it you're going to regret it right now for someone that started youtube channel when i was in 400 level i still wish i said it way earlier it's like if i started 100 level like it would have been just you know better but anyways we're grateful to god all in all but i'm so grateful to 1000 of you guys you know i know that by the grace of god we're going to be growing and growing from here and what in the name of jesus but i'm very grateful i'm very happy i mean it, it took a while to get here obviously with so many inconsistencies so please if you start a channel be consistent it is important i kind of exaggerated if i go to the most recent things um let's talk about final year i don't know i never did any video talking about guys i am serious right now 
but again i'm just like god has to come through for me so in the midst of recording my storage of food has never happened to me before like i didn't like funny how i feel like i always need to listen to my heart as i was setting up for this video i was like what's my storage gets for like it just came the thought just came to my heart that never crossed my mind before and five minutes into the recording i just heard boom I literally was going to tweet it. I'm just like, God, please, you have to come through for me, okay? Please, let's not blab about that for too long. You know, let's go back to that gist. So, also, I realized that my mic wasn't working. Like, it felt like it wasn't working. It was, it was too, um, it was too low. Hopefully, it's working now because I cannot see. After uni, the next step is usually to go to law school. For those that don't know, I studied law in school. So, we're supposed to go to law school before you go for NYSC. It's like the it's like the best step instead of going for NYSC first. It's just better because people always believe that if you go for your law school first, once you like obviously once you're a lawyer, it's easier to like be retained or whatever job you get while doing your NYSC. But I did, I could not go to law school first because we my school has an issue of backlog right now so i know a lot of people were commenting on my youtube channel and saying oh have you heard what's going on about the law school your school i mean everybody was anxious already at some point but the school is on top of the matter of as of right now that i'm talking to you guys so everything is going to be resolved by the grace of god and for those that were spreading you know rumors with the universities fully accredited so by all means if you want to study law with mass university advise you the beautiful school i did that for five years and i don't regret it if you're a redeem member you also have perks of being on scholarships you know pastor's children so please oh i'm an advocate for reading mass university i mean that's my alma mater so nysc after you register you get something called color letter that's where it decides what state you'll be serving in and all so the call of that came out like around 11 p.m. when everybody was sleeping. I had my friend, you know, and she posted, ah, they posted me to this place. We were crying. My plug did not work. This one, this one, this one. Me, in my mind, I was just like, I'm going to Zamfara. Like, I was already preparing my mind for it. I was like, it will be bad. I will experience another food. I will experience culture, blah, 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 blah. My friend even called me while I was checking to laugh at me because he knew for sure that I was going to be not or something. But thankfully, I was supposed to Lagos for I camped in Oyo Isheng camp. It was actually a very beautiful experience. Um getting to camp, I didn't go alone. I went to my friends that stayed close by that were also posted that also Lagos couples that were posted to Oyo camp. So we went together. So I was not alone. I was fully harmed. It was like I knew people. It was not like I was going to a strange land where I didn't know anybody. So Getting to camp, obviously, in court of just with people, you hear, oh, OBS, OBS, OBS. So I was like, I must join this OBS because I wanted to avoid things like matching. All those things was not my cup of tea because I actually thought I was not going to enjoy camp. So I wanted something that at least I enjoyed doing, which is like the media parts at OBS. So we have the media guys, which includes videographers, photographers, um, news reporters, broadcasters everything we had a whole thing where a lot actually so i was a videographer and really girl you know shout out <laughs> so i you know created content to be fair the story of how i became the videographer of um obs it's not even a very small small i actually wrote application letter like every other person but somehow somehow i did not go for the interview but you know god intervened and somehow i was shot i don't know it's just miracle so when anybody asked me how did you join obs i'm like it was a miracle it actually was a miracle so i actually enjoyed camp some other people think otherwise but me i enjoyed i had a good time maybe because obviously i had obs for obs family so i didn't really mix with like my platoon members even though my friend was in my platoon some people in my school were in my platoon marvelous you guys know marvelous so thankfully he put us in the same platoon, so she was really excited, but we're not in the same hostel. 
So because I joined OBS, it kind of like separated us because I was always busy doing the OBS duty, you know. Because I never went to Platoon. I always did OBS. When it's time to avoid class, OBS. When it's time to do this, OBS. So yeah. I mean, if you are a creative person, you can do broadcasting, you can do you can take pictures, videos, you know, you know how to repost news, you can join OBS. You would work, but you would get pecs to it, for sure. After spending three weeks in the same camp, next step was pp primary place of assignments guys first of all let me advise you if you are an intending copper if you are currently on camp if you can try your best to find a pp before you go to camp like you're sure of how much they're going to pay you you're sure of the distance from your house you're sure of just so many things, you're sure of the things, Chad. If you can, if you can get a letter from them, by all means, submit it while you're on camp so that they can document it for you. Don't leave your PPA to chance. Because sometimes, for example, I was lucky, I was lucky that where um, NYSC gave me was, they didn't reject me because so many people, so people that you posted to law firms, for example, I'm talking from a place of like a law student. A law graduate, please. I'm not a law student. <laughs> a law graduate. Because we had not gone to law school, so many firms were rejecting us, which takes me back to where I said it's better to go to law school before you go for NYSE, right? So I was lucky to not be posted to a law firm, so I couldn't relate to that rejection. I also got a job interview where I actually got a job. They give me, um, they give me a letter to submit for after weighing options of oh transport or distance. What time of resumption? I just decided to pick the one that NYS actually gave me, even though obviously the pay of that one is more. It's just that once you read everything, the stress is like this one is better. So yeah, I picked the one NYS gave me. I'm one out of ten people that are lucky. So people, it took them months before they actually could find another PPA. So people now leave it to okay. I was teaching in school. Me, I was not interested. I was saying that people always leave their PPAs a chance. So after like two, three months, two months of looking for a new PPA after they've been rejected from the one, NYSC posted them. Mind you, they can post it on uncompleted buildings sometimes. Unregistered address companies, like just <sighs> companies that don't exist, basically. Make sure you do not leave your PPAs a chance. I'm advising you and also enjoy camp as much as possible best believe that the outside world is tougher than camp i mean i have a few friends that we spoke to and they were lamenting oh my god work was stressful oh this i'm just like camp was actually fun you keep an open mind let's say for example you're not somebody that complains about food too much i mean if you can't eat their food which i did to be fair i, I ate the one i could eat there's some days, I mean, I don't know where my food tag is. If I can find it, I'll take a video and put the video. I had empty days. <laughs> you take provision, you take cereal, if you don't have money to waste, because camp still had ridiculous prices for things. Things that were cheaper outside on camp is like times two of the money. Oh, some days I can eat out, some days I cannot eat out. What I'm not interested about camp is meeting new people, you know, making friends from, I mean, because I camped in Oyo, I have a lot of friends that are currently serving Ibadan. And I'm just like, I can't wait for the next time I'm going to be in Ibadan to see all of them. 80% of OBS members were Oyo coppers. There were just like a few of us that were Lagos coppers. The another thing has been, I have started working. <laughs> 9 to 5 that I don't exactly like. I, 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 I believe I have mentioned this in one of my videos. I'm not a 9 to 5 person. I don't like it. Like, I don't feel like it's for me. You know how there's some people that like nine to five. So I'm not exactly sure that is something that I I really like. Nine to five was definitely not for me. So I'm I'm going to be, I'm supposed to be like a remote work kind of girly, you know. By the grace of God, this YouTube channel ministry would grow and be so big in jesus name i'm looking for remote jobs that can be doing on the side because you know a girl has to has to do what she can i have friends that actually like nine to five then i feel unserious sometimes but i remember again please everybody say journey is different the fact that you like nine to five does not mean i have to like it as long as we are both making money Right, that's all that matters. She doesn't really like remote work, but she would like 
like a hybrid work. So you go to work on some days and you work from home some days. Maybe I am actually like that because to be fair, if you leave me, I'm not going to leave the house. Even though I've also started trying to go out, you guys. If you know me, you know that I have a home puppet, home body. I don't go nowhere. So I started attending events. At least since I've been home. After I attended my first wedding in like 11 years. I've gone for like two events. I went for one camera joint event. If you guys know camera joint on Instagram. I also went for one created, creative event that was hosted by the Baton on Instagram. Very beautiful event. I have been longing to build a strong community here on YouTube. What am by community? For the longest time, because I was in school, you know, there's this thing you're fond of doing where we share links to our friends to help us repost when you make a new video. I stopped doing that because I also realized that a lot of people were not, they were not necessarily reposting the video or even watching it. You just waste your data and send it to everybody. So I wanted that if I post something on my status, if you find the video worthy enough, you'd go and watch it, right? So yeah, I started doing that. I'm trying to build a community on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram and do, go check out my Instagram. I've also decided to post on TikTok because, you know, somebody convinced me, even though I haven't, I haven't been consistent. I think I posted just one video or two videos. I repurposed like content from YouTube shorts to TikTok. And I think I have like, I think I've already like over a hundred followers. I was surprised. Like, I don't even go to the app that often because I also try to like cut down my social media intake because it was a lot. Like, by the time you don't sit on social media, they are looking at this case, my age mates. How is it that she's doing this? How is she affording this? How is it? How is it? The pressure is just too much. So I take my mind off it, honestly. I, I try not to consume too many. If I feel like I'm following you and you're stopping me, I will just log on my Instagram. My friends used to abuse me. I can't delete my Instagram. Best believe. They say, oh, you check this. I'm like, ah, oh, sorry, I've deleted my Instagram. <laughs> so yeah twitter is the only place i know that i'm constantly on so i'll put all my social media handles for you guys to follow do check it out it'll be in the description box i'm fun of posting my insta story so you know you can catch up with me there sometimes they're like fun gist, you know q and a's you can ask me any question you want randomly reply to my stories you know just gist and all that good stuff so those are the things that have been going on with me honestly i'm in a much better place now as of when I originally wanted to um, record this video, I was not in a good space. So I was like, if I came to record this video, I'd have so many negative, negative things. So I just waited till I was fine. I've actually been wanting to like do like shorts where I just come have conversation with you guys. You know, sometimes there are things that happen to you, but until somebody puts it to words or puts it to writing for you, and I'm like, oh, this thing that's happened to me is actually not a bad thing. No, or oh, somebody else is going through this thing with me. So I'm going to try to start having conversations that are relatable that nobody's talking about. Cause there are just so many things that I feel like people are talking about. It's like, why is nobody talking about this thing? But well, this thing is a thing. This thing is a big deal. Why is nobody talking about it? Okay. So yeah, I am going to try my best to have these conversations. Okay, as much as I can. There's a whole drumming is going on, guys. Okay, I'm going to turn up this video. But I was saying that please leave in the comments videos and suggestions of videos that you like to see. I really need it right now at this moment. So please, please, please. I actually have a lot of videos that are going to be coming up. I'll try my best to shoot the videos down as much as possible so I do not have any excuse whatsoever. But please leave in the comments your suggestion. Tell me what you like about this video. What can you relate to in this video? You know, congratulate me in the comments section, okay? On 1,000 subscribers, road to 2K. If you enjoyed this video, do well to subscribe, like, and share this video to somebody you know as the new 1K creator. Please share my videos to people so that you know this family can become bigger. Love you guys. Mwah. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Who is this saxophone player? <laughs> Jesus. Let's give the person one minute. Bless you. Happy birthday to you. Oh my god. 
guys why is everything against me today guys i'm never shooting a video weekends when everybody's awake in my house right. let's do podcasts all right let's get so what advice would you give to somebody that is currently doing junior work better, you you better read your book <laughs> If you, if you like, no read your book. Has been, my brother has come from school like two days ago and he has been reading. I'm just like, wow, I'm so proud of you. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thomas, you didn't lock my door. Oh, Jesus. Tell me. What can you, the rest is there now. Wow.